Hey church, hope you're well. I just want to take a moment today to encourage slash challenge us that this year, whatever is set before us, we would choose to be people who see things through the eyes of faith. We're really believing that this this season would be one of incredible miracles. We're believing that God, our supernatural God, is going to come and show up in our everyday, ordinary lives. And really excited to hear all the stories, all the miracles that are going to take place. But believing that if we're going to see that, then we've got to be people that choose to see through the eyes of faith. Let me read you an account in Numbers. In Numbers, we find an account where Moses has sent off a group of people to go and check out the land that God has said he's going to give them to the land of Canaan. So off they go, they do a recce, have a little look at the land, having working out whether they're going to be able to take it on. And they come back and they bring the report back to Moses. And everybody says, no, nah, it's not going to happen. We can't do it. We can't go. They talk about people being bigger than them. The, strong, the city is too strong for them. And basically, they bring back a negative report, a bad report. Everyone except for a guy called Caleb. Let me read you what Caleb says in verse 30 of Numbers 13. It says, Then Caleb quieted the people before Moses and said, We must go up and take possession of the land, for we can certainly conquer it. And I want to say that Caleb chose to see through eyes of faith. Where the other guys came back and their report was filled with negativity, challenges, problems, um, a lot of assumption and a lot of fear. But Caleb chose to see with eyes of faith. And I think what's interesting is that they didn't go to two different places. They all went to the land of Canaan. So what they saw was exactly the same. But how they saw it was totally different. Caleb chose to see through the eyes of faith. I think so many of us, I'm sure it's not just me, we're really good at playing movies. Usually at night before we go to sleep or maybe before we, you know, before we get out of bed in the morning. We're great at these movies. Our movies, they have beginnings, middle, ends. We create characters. We, the, our characters say stuff. He said stuff. She said stuff. There's a whole heap of twists and turns in our movies. The problem is, is that for the majority of the time, our movies about the day we're about to have, about the situation we're about to experience, do not have a happy ending. In fact, our movies usually spiral down to the worst case scenario. And I want us this year to make a decision that we're not going to do that, that we're going to quieten down the fear, quieten down past experience, quieten down, you know, just the facts that may be shouting loudly and whatever is set before us that we're going to be people that choose to see through the eyes of faith. If you're going to play a movie, then I want you to begin to imagine the best case scenario with the happy ending. I want you to imagine that moment you get the doctor's report that it's all good or that moment you get the phone call to say you got the job. Maybe that conversation that you've been dreading, that you, you know, the old movie would have spiraled down to the worst case scenario. But I want you to think about, just imagine if it all went well. What if everything went way better than you could ever imagine? So church, this year, let's be people who see through the eyes of faith. Because God is with you. He's equipped you. He's called you, anointed you for whatever is set before you. And I want to encourage you that you can certainly conquer it. There's nothing that you, today, that you cannot do with you and God together. So church, excited to hear your miracle stories. Let's believe, let's see with eyes of faith and not fear. And excited to hear everything that God's about to do. I'm going to be praying for you. Love you church and I'll see you real soon.